We're back. Let's hope my brain works a little better today. The Trials, number four. <clears throat> Welcome to the penultimate part, chapter four. The Trials, in which mind-bending discoveries are made. We've got four zones. I got symbols and transfers. Let's go. Feathered Frenzy. A deadly attack at the aviary. Oh, wow. Is that a kookaburra? Do we have more zones? We have more zones. Uh, we have to figure out. Uh... Right, let's start on the left. A bird! Heron. Bright plumage, feeds on live prey, has teeth, grouse, bird is endangered, predatory, predator status, hides its eggs in, it's got bag number two on it, maybe, Heron has teeth, why not, uh, that has teeth, The red-breasted. This heron is known for its aggressive nature. Extremely sharp. Ah, okay. The masked. The known for its bright plumage and has sharp teeth. Okay, this goes together. The masked grouse. This bug-eyed, yellow-footed. Bird is endangered. Oh, this can't see the feet of this one. It must be this one. We can't see the feet of either one of them. Despite its extremely territorial predator status, it hides its eggs in bushes. Except for a bush. Triggers. Connect each bird with what agitated it. Oh, God. The Death Rattle. Uses its colored feathers as blank against predators. Blank often mimic the sounds and silences. Advise these Nithalix, these terrified creatures. Blank, where they scavenge blank. Silence is required. Blank, these creatures provoking blank self defense. Oh, it's yellow-footed. So is this the... But these ones have feet as well. And this bird doesn't seem to be agitated, so this might be the... Oh, is it masked though? Let's call this one... Although I'm not entirely sure this is correct. Suppose this is the heron. This is the red breasted heron. The only one with teeth, it's got a red breast. Okay. Oh. Incubator. Overexposure to heat from the incubator can prove fatal. Always remember to check on the eggs after putting them inside. <laughs> Seems to be 1.40 uh, p.m. Or whatever. Oh, there's more here? The incubator is on and the bulb is hot to the touch. Okay. Something hatched. Why? He promised to take care of you. Aviary key, incubator key, the dead bird hatchling and whatever that is all right again no feet rot i'm sorry rot i'm sorry rot i didn't know rot all right we can't see the feet of these guys and they hide their bushes so maybe he stepped on an egg Have a weird 
your bolts lit. Discovered. Declan, Declan, what did you do? Avia, blue powder. And by blue, I mean white. Harold. Can we put two of these up at the same time? Like, why? Why do I have to do them back to back? Are we missing a piece of paper? Death Rattle Lurry is probably not correct. Oh. Can I find other locations? Bird is not agitated. I have a feeling this is the yellow footed because we can't see any of their feet. It's aggressive. Alright, oh pig, trial your uh, incubator over your yellow powder. The man is not breathing and his neck is bleeding. Hmm. Killed by a bird? So we got one, two, three, four, five kinds of birds here. All right, let's read what they said. So, lurry, a method of intimidation, blank, it's prey, it's piercing cries, blank words, it has recently heard, as speaking will cause birds to scream. All right, there's probably these ones. Do we have a name for it? Morag aviaries. Being a bird keeper is hard. You will have no feathered friends. The bleary eyed. Alright. It is hard work. But if you follow this guide, you'll have no trouble taking care of our feathered friends. The bleary eyed flower piercer. This excitable bird is known for its curious nature. The flower piercer may react aggressively toward bright colors. Avoid wearing anything neon inside the habitat to prevent agitation. Avoid their... Alright, avoid... right, so maybe this is the bleary-eyed flower piercer. Uh, this one. And the trigger might have been that. This guy doesn't seem to be agitated. But he screamed, I bet, and that's what made them do it. So that's the Lurie. I don't know if I have the rest of this name. Something Harold. We're discovered in the jungle for bones. This loud will set off attacks. We'll set off triggering their mechanism. All right, not sure. I don't see anything else. Let's go to the other room. Maybe find some more information. Oh, Lori. Oh, it's just called the Lori. Heron, Grouse, Hatchling, Flower Piercer, Grouse, Herald. Crystal, Declan, Declan, Marcy, Declan, Crystal. Hmm. Thanks again for running the incubation station for me, Declan. See you after your, your lunch, Marcy. August 29th, new employee starts. Safety and handling training, 3 p.m. 
August 30th, Declan lunch break, 1.15 p.m. Millet, Laurie. So the Laurie likes to eat millet. It reads black sunflower seeds, flower piercer. It reads white bone meal, Harold. Is it Harold or Heron? Born, gross. To the one who stole my heart. Or heart was stolen. Master. Appointment at twelve thirty, August thirtieth. Welcome to Morag, Aviator. New employee guy. Master is new. Oh great, we found everything. <laughs> Travel guide. Steps for training new employees. So Declan Astor maybe? And something Palmer? Declan, Declan, what did you do? Trial volunteer form. All right. So this is Declan Astor, maybe. That's A to Z me. Uh, Declan Astor. How many women names were there? One, I suppose. Crystal and Marcy. Oh, there's another woman inside the, the hut. That's right. Hatchling, Marcy Declan. Yeah, after your lunch. This is the new, the new guy's Aster. Is he Declan? How many other names we got? We just got Declan, Crystal. Is the new employee just a new word? Ah, uh, Declan. They don't have more around, right? Oh. All right, so Crystal Moore, I think that's her name, because Marcy thanked Declan for covering the incubator, and she's the one in the incubator crying. So I'm going to say Crystal Moore. Oh, so said Marcy Palmer. Crystal Moore. I got that. So what are these birds' names? I got to get this done. Alright, we have, we're missing pieces of paper here. The Death Rattle Lorry. Colored feathers as a method of intimidation against predators and prey. Its piercing cries often mimic the sounds and words it has recently heard as silence is advised as speaking will cause these birds to scream. Alright, so this is the death rattle. This guy.
So this is the Nithalix Herald. Did we get it right? Alright, we did. Alright, names are done. Start piecing things together. Alright, he made a noise. So they started to scream. They saw the thing. Alright, the heron was not agitated, so he must have been on the eggs. Oh, and another bird caused it to go nuts. Let's read. These terrifying creatures were discovered in the jungle, where they scavenge for bones. Silence is required, as loud noise will set off these creatures provoking an attack. Well, set off these creatures provoking attack and triggering their self-defense mechanism. So I suppose that the screaming bird set him off. Okay. All right, so the heron didn't do anything. He's just eating him. He went nuts. All right, events, symbols. I don't have any symbols. All right, at the aviary. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's see what they're screaming. I didn't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's with all the... With the... Like, they have these different powders on them. I don't know. At the aviary, when she... Okay. So it's Marcy Palmer. Uh, that's Ada Zimi. Pride when she discovered that a uh, hatchling had died overheated in the incubation station. Meanwhile, a Declan Aster entered the area where his bracelet was stolen by Bleary eyed flower piercer. Following this encounter, Declan Astor went to Went to agitate the, the only one that fits his feet. So as we feed. So I don't know who he's trying to feed, but stepped on the eggs hidden in the bush. All right, so let's see. He's got food on him. And it's yellow. White bone meal, corn. So he's going to feed the grouse. Let's say. Um, and the grouse's name is the masked grouse. The masked grouse. And stepped on the eggs hidden in the bush. In retaliation, the masked grouse.
Uh, attacked Declan Astor. Uh, killing him. His last screams were mimicked by and the name is the Death Rattle Lorry. The Death Rattle Lorry. Which agitated um Nithalix Herald. Nithalix Herald which then attacked Uh, Crystal, no, what's your name? Crystal Moore. All right. Didn't screw this one up so bad. Take a drink. After volunteering in a trial during his lunch break, Declan Astor, a Nuva employee at Moreg Aviary, forgot to take the hatchling out of the incubator. Then, while attempting to feed the masked grouse, he stepped on his nest. The grouse killed Declan, indirectly entering all the other birds. Except for the heron, apparently. Subject 37 did not arrive for his follow-up appointment. Another scumbag took the money and ran. That's possible. Either way, we'll need to throw out his research data. But what do we do with the data disk? What's the Red Death? What? This is give, right? I don't have any words. Oh, God. What is she doing? Backstage drama. Pandemonium at the Stardust Variety House. Hopefully they're pretty straightforward, like that last one. How many rooms we got? One room. Hey! Is it really only one room? It's amazing. It's amazing. Alright. Whoa, you gotta chill. A bunny ran on stage during my act, but you don't see me whining. A bunny ran on stage, huh? First the record, then a surprise act. This whole show must be rigged. I performed a flawless waltz. She's upset. Psst, Vilmer. Could you tell the little dancer that I only switched my act because someone took my soda? Start a spinner. Oh, he's got the wristband from the... The take? I don't know. Cold? Sweet biscuits, Cam, that's delicate. Lone Wolf. But this... It said Nola before. Small bite mark. Oh, he tried to... the bunny bit him? Alright, yeah. Archar of one, fair and square. Archar. All right. Archar. Okay. Oh, wait, the check. Did the check say his name? Oh, no. Right. You don't like something? Talk to Mitchell, the producer. Archar ready? Okay. He won. Can we figure anything? Nola Rocco. But he liked Nola, right? The sweet biscuits, Cam. That's delicate. Who's Cam? Oh, I don't know the events yet. That's A to Z me. We got Cameron. 
I can't help but notice we are competing against the previous champion. We already know the judges like her act. She'll be a shoe in for the grand prize unless something goes wrong. Shouldn't the rest of us get a fair shot, Cam? So Cameron Flake is a person, Nola Rocco, Jamie Albright, Regina Littlemore, Billmore Bellboy Prado, at Harv Ready. At Harv Ready 1. We gotta figure out the order of this. Is there another room? Am I missing? No. My camera blocks the corner of the screen, so I can't see sometimes. Uh, an empty cage. Who is the magician? The juggler, juggling balls. Trumpet, the musician. Prop table, do not touch. I would have won if they hadn't put me as the first stinking act. All that work wasted. I thought he was a burpist. Alright, so she is first. Cameron Flake. Hey, to see me. Cameron Flake. Unless they bumped somebody. Let's take a look. Nola Rocco. Maybe they bumped Cameron. So let's keep that in mind. Lily Bell, sweetie, you showed up one act too late. I'll kill Vilmer for this. Should have broken his bones as well as his heart. One act. Uh. Ah, Vilmer. So he's Vilmer. Because he has a tattoo of Nola on his chest, so this must be Nola Rocco. All right. You appeared one act too late, so he appeared during Jamie Albright's. All right, Jamie Albright. You complain about the bunny. First the record, then a surprise act. This whole must be rigged. All right. Did we get everything? No. Is there a room I'm missing? There might be. Jamie could, would have stolen the show if we couldn't. If he could have used knives. This is more good stuff for the blooper reel, though. General Axe. The ventriloquist and the magician each surprised me, but not in the way I expected. Funny clips for the real. Lily was a no-show. Till the jugglers act. Record malfunction. Sticky valves. Ballerina freakout. How oh, great. Lily was a no-show. Till the jugglers act. Well, Lily... What? Did he say Lily? There's no Lily on this list. Oh, great. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, Lily is the is the bunny. So you are the juggler. Can I put that in? Uh. So let's think about this. Is Vilmer acting? Vilmer Bellboy Prado. I think we can um, use process of elimination here. So she might be Regina Littlemore. So we're missing... We got six people here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that'd be the guy, names of the host and the producer. No weapons on set. Who was the previous champion? There has been a sudden outpouring of complaints about her allowing a previous winners to compete in the Stardust Variety Hour. 
we assure you that SVH is a fair contest with no possibility of skullduggery. Continuing to harp on this will result in you being released from the show. Your host, Dante Longo. So she's won before. So she's the previous winner. All right, Dante. That's A to Z me. Dante Longo. What is the producer's name? La femme ennuyeuse, the boring, the bored woman. All right, I'm missing a location and I'm missing a word up here. The final placement's first. Burping recitation of every ash president. Meet Mr. Vlad. Impossible, implausible forces. The Popper's Waltz from La Femme on News. Howling Wolf Blues. The Remarkable Lily Bell. So he's the burpy guy. Rankings. These are greys. So the burpist won, apparently. Meet Mr. Vlad. All right, the magician was last. Howling Wolf Blues. The ventriloquist. No, no, no. The ventriloquist is probably meet Mr. Vlad. Who's got the doll? Oh. All right, so she's the ventriloquist. Implausible Fortress, the remarkable Lily Bell, Howling Wolf Blues. Who do we got? The juggler, maybe? The popper's waltz is the ballerina. So Howling Wolf Blues, what do we got? The magician, the musician. All right, we figured it out. Okay. Uh, we have all the locations, so we don't have a name. What is the producer's name? Mitchell, the producer. Hey, does he me? What is Mitchell's name? Hey, we haven't used Bergen yet. So where do we find the name Bergen? M. Bergen's production team. There it is. Okay. We found it. Oh, God. Who did what first? Oh, sabotage? Did we have sabotage? We have sabotaged. All right. Okay. That's some somebody. Sabotage the act of a previous winner. The previous winner was... Uh, Regina Littlemore. Regina Littlemore. By... Scratching? A record. You think... Oh, no. Okay, I don't know. Double line. Ah! It was you! Gifty little person. Cameron Flake. And how do I know? Because of the teeth on her doll. Using Mr. Vlad. Meanwhile, something else happened. Blank, blank. Oh, great. 
I'm gonna say this is Lily Bell. The rabbit. Alright, I'm gonna say somebody released Lily Bell. Released Lily Bell. From the cage to sabotage. Maybe the juggler's act? Oh. You're the juggler, right? Jamie Albright. I'm gonna guess Jamie Albright. Jamie Albright. Although she showed up like a an act too late. Jamie Albright's act. In retaliation. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta see what's going on here. I don't see what the... Someone took my soda. So he didn't burp. He did something different. Lily Bell, sweetie. Ah, you showed up one act too late. I'll kill Vilmore for this. Should have broken his hot bones as well as his heart. What is Vilmer? Who's the musician? Vilmer must be the musician. He's the burpist. He's a musician. He's a juggler, magician, ventriloquist. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. He is sabotaging somebody else. But I, wait, he showed up one turn too late, he said. I thought he showed up Jamie Albright's, but maybe she was supposed to show up here. Uh, when was she supposed to show up? Not here. She's supposed to... One too late. So this is Jamie Albright, right? They're supposed to show up in no. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. The bunny showed up in his. Oh, maybe Vilmer let him out. Okay. Name hey, is Vilmer. Vilmer, Vilmer, Vilmer Prado. Okay, where is Vilmer Prado? Released Lily Bell from the cage to sabotage. It was an accident, I think. Uh, Nola Rocco's. Oh, Nola Rocco's act. Intelliation. What did they throw and what now? Somebody stole his soda. Uh, did something. Poured a soda. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I see. They poured a soda into the trumpet. Okay. Taliation, no Rocco. Poured a soda into the trumpet.
Oh no. Believing he had been sabotaged is the only thing that could be put the only thing that fits after the broadcast. Blank 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 believing that had been Is rigged here? Rigged. Oh, okay, it's her. After the broadcast, Regina Littlemore uh, attacked the host, Longo, Dante Longo, believing the show had been rigged. These are a little easier. Due to their past relationship, Vilmer decided to spoil his ex-girlfriend Nola's magic act by releasing her bunny from its cage. In retaliation, Nola stole Athar's soda and poured it into Vilmer's trumpet. Because Athar couldn't belch it without a soda, he changed his act to a dance, which surprisingly won. JN identification of time frame settings for the unnamed device. Lens. 0 0.020 hours or 1.220 minutes. The donut button? Round to one minute. Uh. Lens 25.059 hours or one day. Lens 3, 71.627 hours. So basically three days. Lens 72.89 hours just say one month uh, okay very precise no need to get so specific Jack also you haven't submitted a name yet quit stalling and get on that okay this will be information later oh god Okay, we have some information now. Lens one. The donut button. One minute. Lens two. One day. We don't know what lens two or lens three is. Unless that's the donut. Alright, so we have this reference here. Oh, is this earlier? Spell dance, Atharv's winning act. We're going back in time. It's going backwards. It is, that's it. Whoa. This one looks like it's very short. Uh -huh. Alright, he's dancing. He's dancing. <laughs> It's the silver. Mamuti. I know what I am seeing, Uncle. How did this foreign fool learn an ancient spell dance? They take months to master. Ah, he's got that volunteer. Whoa. I'm going to have to interpret this dance. Oh, no. All right, food, door, key, machine, spider, and create objects and creatures, fool, forbidden. I'm gonna need a piece of paper. Hold on a second, I'm gonna recede into the darkness. All right, give me a second. Finally, I have to resort to paper. Vampire forbidden. Oh no, are there different pages? Build, beware, shout, shut. 
In spell dance, opposites of common words were conveyed by reversing the movements of their counterparts. For example, give... Feel... <laughs> great. <laughs> oh no, that's why this one's so short. In ancient Lemuria, philosophers postulated that various parts of the body house particular character attributes. Spell dance reflected this belief. Spiel dance, maybe. This hand shape, when held to any part of the body, referred to that part's accompanying attribute. All right, let's take a look. He's pointing to his eyes. So knowledge, he points to knowledge. He does that at once. I don't think he points anywhere else. Let's take a look, a closer look. Does he point to anywhere else? Hey, they're not, they're not matched. Oh, he points to his stomach. Alright, he pointed to his stomach. Evil. Okay. Lower body st- oh god. Oh my god. Perhaps one of the most curious aspects of the Mirian Spiel dance was the relationship between some of the lower and upper body movements and its effect on establishing grammar. This opens the door to many interesting possibilities. A one foot stance invokes the plural form of a word, e.g. book becomes books. Sitting cross-legged added a definite article, e.g. book becomes the book. You can't look at them at the same time? This is cruel. Oh. Oh, thank you for this. All right, I'm going to have to resort to photographs, I think. All right, everyone. Can't keep the window open at the same time. That's page one. That's page two. Uh, body parts. And then the cross-legged standing up. Okay. Let's try to interpret page one. Sideways. Alright, I have it in front of me. You can't see it. There it is. Okay. Page one. Events. What am I looking for? Okay, he starts by pointing to his eyes. Knowledge. So I'm going to say the first word is knowledge. A to Zimi. Alright, let's take a look. Double arm up. The knowledge. Or is that his nose? Let's see, does nose have anything? No, it must be, um... It must be knowledge. Okay.
All right, two fists in front of his face. This doesn't seem to do anything. So two arms to the face is beware. So beware knowledge. Beware knowledge. And bring things to his face. Shut. I'm using the book at the same time, everyone. I can't have it on the screen. All right, shut. He's got arms from his face. Do 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 ba la ba da. Is this a move? Is this a move? This looks like shout. This doesn't make any sense. So beware knowledge. Shut. Shout. Oh, but opposite moves. Oh, maybe this is open. Oh, okay, hold on. It's opposite move. So it's open. Maybe it's just knowledge and not beware. Uh, the beware movement. Oh, hands. Let's see. Does he? He points directly. So maybe it's knowledge opens. Okay. Knowledge opens. Open. Okay. Now he's got things in front of his face. Another concept. It might be fool. thing in front of his face maybe this is beware I don't know what symbol this is So this might be, this might be forbidden. Unfortunately, this move here opens and then he's, oh, maybe it's just a going into the move. Oh, forbidden. Forbidden. All right, he's on one load, which means it's plural. That is forbidden doors. Ah, oh, tedious. Okay. 
All right. Okay, now he's covering his face. He's doing the beware symbol. I'm gonna think this is beware. Beware. And he crouches down. He points to the concept, beware evil. He's gonna stand on one leg again, I think. One leg. He's on one leg, evil. I don't know. What's he doing? He's on one leg, so it's plural. Evil. Is this give? What move is this? Steal. So this is steal. I think. Because he's got the arms open and then he's crossing in. So I've just missed. Is it possible that it's machine? It's probably machine. Can we interpret this as machine? He's on one leg, but it's he's like all fools. All right, evil fools who steal. Steal. What? Keys. All right. Oh my god. Mumati da Silva recognized the distinctive movements of a Lemurian spiel dance from her uncle's book and was bewildered by Adar's knowledge of this ancient tradition. My god. Ah, the icon! Contains useless information. Contains subjects 37, subject 37's memories. Subject 37's was Declan, wasn't it? Let's take a look. That uh, was this one. All right, so I suppose it's Declan. It's subject thirty-seven. Let's go to a previous chapter for a second, everyone. We're gonna go to number. We're gonna go to this one. I'm gonna go upstairs and the icon had a space invader on it. All right, let's go back to the menu. We're at the trials, okay. The space invader's not here. He seemed to be empty. Um, can we figure any of this out yet? This is give and take. What did I click on? No, thank you. X. Is this supposed to be in symbols? This, this is the clue here. All right. Still at a loss about this. Complex, a high rise tragedy. Time to jump.
Another one screen situation. All right. Uh, Hesper Tower residence. Winthorpe, Sawyer, Nakana, Ozola, Wright, Stevenson, Bird, Knox, Combs. Uh, okay. I have to figure out who's who. Combs. Uh, is missing some laundry. Opportunity to earn. Participants needed. Research study starting on Monday the 20th. Same day cash payout. All right. Hesper Towers. Thanks to everyone who attended the picnic. Oh, is this... Green... Brown jacket, green something. Hmm. I'm not sure. Isaac. This is harassment. PSA. If you're going to be indecent like Cheyenne, at least close your blinds. Another missing picture here. I ordered a package that hasn't shown up yet. If it got delivered somewhere by accident, back, please let me know. Spencer. Apartment before. Spencer is one of these two people. Alright, let's just go... Discovered. Out of my way. I might already be too late. Alright, that's Cheyenne. All right, so let's figure out where does Cheyenne live? Let's find uh, we find a sewing machine. Ooh, somebody's dead. Alright, so Cheyenne lives there. Cheyenne Bird. So why is she running to the other tower, I wonder? Hey, Dazimi. Cheyenne Bird. Cheyenne Bird. I assume it was taken across the way by this dude. The Sawyer. Oh, did Sawyer sign his name on the, the sign-in sheet downstairs? This is harassment. Did she see something in the picture? Wait a minute. Okay, it was taken from this window. So maybe it wasn't him. Alright, we don't have anything else to go on. Who has a band-aid on his finger? Watch it! Another orange nose. Is this a through line? I wonder. 
Looks familiar as well. Alright, how are we going to tackle this? We just don't have enough information. Let's go look. Patience, patience, patience. Staying out of here. Earnest. Great for blood, grass, and other tough stains. Alright, this is the guy in the yellow. No, it's this guy. Implying that he's from up here. So... He's a Winthrop, is my guess. Uh, if it's his knife, then he's Ernest. Hey, does he me? Hey, does he me? But I don't know. He's coming down, so he's one of these three. Uh, let's look in. All right, he's got a band-aid. Oh, it's a mess. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I didn't have time to cook a fancy dinner. It's a really nice place. I'm jealous that you and Lavona live so close to the ground. Pepper spray. Protect and defend the security guard creed. All right, so this guy, he lives Ozola. And he took the photo. Of course, it steals it away. You and Lavona. So maybe Lavona lives here? Message from 921 930. This is Marie Westlake with OPIG. We received your call. I'm sorry, Miss Combs. We cannot divulge the identities of the participants in our research study. Have a nice day. Thursday, September 2nd. I've been unemployed for about two weeks now and it's awful. I figured that writing my diary to decompress couldn't hurt, but I have nothing else to say today. This is so frustrating. No one wants to hire me because I'm a woman. And if you had told me that I should be looking for a husband, not a job. Well, sir, how am I going to pay my rent? Sonny raises it nearly every month. I'd do any job, almost any. Constance offered to pay me for babysitting, but I can't stand her kid. All right. Let's click up here. You heard the loud boom half an hour ago, honey. That meant no playing outside tonight, and Mr. Sawyer will be here any minute. All right. Let's see. Constance Winthrop. Maybe. This is a maybe. Alright, and we don't know. This is Lazona Combs, but we don't know who she is. Let's continue looking. The hunt continues. I enrolled in a research study today to help get me by get to help me get by financially. Oddly, I didn't have to take any drugs. They just sat me in front of a crystal contraption. It was the strangest experience, but at least they paid me up front. Hopefully I can sleep off these odd side effects. I think I'm going crazy. I have memories circling around in my head that don't belong to me. I remember details about the apartment picnic, which I never attended. I remember getting threatened with a gun. I remember being feeling terrified, but none of this really happened. At least not to me. Am I insane, or do these memories belong to someone else? A life could be at stake. I need to figure this out. It's not like I have anything else to do. Alright. Threatened by another resident. Afraid for their life. Will they follow me through? Attend at the picnic. Not me. Not the top floor. Oh, so maybe it's not, not the second floor. Which is... Bird. Check lobby. OPIC participant. Have I gone crazy? Probably. Doesn't think it's her, doesn't think it's her. It's not herself. Alright, let's check the next level. Alright, it's him. So we've decided to find him as Nakana. Okay. Somebody in Nakana. 
Kai, remember to take out the trash Tuesday evening. Don't make me do it again. All right, we got a name. Kai. Seven fifteen. <laughs> Gonna come in handy. All right, we got Kai. Let's go up a floor. This is where the murder is. All right, let's leave this one for now. Let's get some identifying marks. Go outside, playtime, playtime, mommy. I want to play. You heard the loud boom half an hour ago, honey. That meant no playing outside today. And Mr. Sawyer will be here any minute. Apartment inspection is on Tuesday at 7.20 p.m. Pick up your, pick up after your brat or get evicted. Mr. Stewart. Who's Mr. Stewart? Oh, this is not Bert. He's remembering things. This is Combs. Lavona Combs. Aha, you tried to trick me. So she's getting psychic flashes. <laughs> All right, let's skip the murder room for now. Quick, mom will be back any second. Oh, oh no, she's in it too. Gabbard, this is incredible. How did you find her stash? Is that son? It is. Okay, we got another person who's in this. Uh, let's see her board. Uh, something about photos. Okay, maybe this is Bird. Mom, Jane 15, 411. Jane Knox, maybe. This is Nakana. Jane. This is Kai. Jane Cox, was it? Knox. Now, what's his name? Do I have any clues about his name then? to picnic and the sunny is going <laughs> all right let's take a look at the picture we have a woman we have Jane her maybe it's her but if sunny is there I don't know I am church work set up new sewing machine game night with B4 Before is Wright and Steenson. Kenneth, Bo told me about what you did on Saturday. You know who seemed better for a few days. You know who seemed better, but now he's back to his normal behavior. I don't think you threatening him again will, will fix this. Regardless, I don't need you to protect me. Too strong, moving forward. I think I can handle my own problems. Maybe another night. Uh huh. Oh. How to speak and be heard. Dire discussion. Alright, let's look at you. Well, Sabrina, you got. Okay, not another one. Oh no. You got. Dumped and then forgot where you hid the booze yesterday. 
What a bummer week. Maybe this is Sabrina Knox, the mom. I'm gonna guess. Talking to herself. That's A to Z me. Sabrina Knox. What's Ty's dad's name? Is it Bo? I don't know if it's Bo. But I'm going to uh, guess that it is. Maybe this is Mr. Sampson. Because he's on his way up, right? Get rid of the cat or your gun. It's a hollow threat, trust me. I just, I, I saw what happened at the picnic. We don't need it to worry about him anymore. How can you be so sure? How does Sonny even know about Darcy? Sonny Sampson. Is he in the list now? He's not. Well, this is Winthrop. Farm inspection. What's the kid's name? All right. How do I, uh, everybody knows the world's better off without me. Goodbye. This, wait, does he live in the building? Sawyer. Oh, he just lives there. Sonny Sawyer. Alright, did he go to the party? He did, that's him, isn't it? So, um, she didn't go. I don't know who she is. And you know what? She's not appearing. Ah, uh, she's not appearing in this. Oh, unless it's her. Wearing a green dress. Oh, it's the photos in here. Blue. Is she identified? She is. So maybe it's her. Uh, this is Bird. Cheyenne Bird. I think. Uh, no clue about his name. All right, let's look in here then. He's got some names here. Chopsticks. Everyone knows the world's better off without me. Goodbye. I got a message. Did you forget our agreement at the picnic, or do I need to go up there and remind you? Hello, sir. Oops. I'm calling from Fremont Pound. We just wanted to inform you that we do not forcibly impound people's pets. Even if you are a landlord, thank you and goodbye. He has one too. Wuxia, noodle house. What, do they like fly in the air and punch you and give you your noodles? Deliver to Spencer Wright. Kitty, kitty cat food. All right, Spencer writes one of these dudes. Let's say Spencer is the white dude. So 
So Steenson is the other one then. Uh, what names have we not used yet? It could be Bo as well. We don't know. Oh, we're missing a spoon. Steenson, right? Right, Steenson. Oh no, I missed a spot. Oh, 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 the guy put, I'm uh, missing a delivery. I ordered a pack package. As it showed up, if you got, if it got delivered somewhere, please uh, let me know. That's all right. So he, I, I think he's Spencer. Because he's like, how does he know about the cat? I'm playing Risk. Oh no, I have all the information. How is this possible? I'm missing these two names. And this guy's name. On. Oh, what, today? I can brute force today? Why did this photo trigger her? We have a Kenneth. Uh, Kenneth likes to protect people, so let's say he's Kenneth Ozola. And what the hell is the kid's name? All right. Patience. Somebody say patience, patience, patience. Answer right. Oh wait, oh wait, does he say his name? I saw what happened to him, we don't need to worry about him anymore. How does Sonny even know about Darcy? Darcy is the name of the cat. Alright. Ew, man. Yeah, I'm not even sure, like, are they even together? Ernest and patience. So he said patience, patience, patience. Patience seems to be a person's name. Alright, is somebody missing a knife? Leave early for date with Kenneth. Kenneth Cheyenne Bird. All right, so that. So we got two bows. 
Then we have a patience. All right, we have a Spencer. Is he a Spencer? Patient Spencer. Let's try that. But how am I supposed to know who has a knife? And his name. How do I know his name? Uh, oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Does he have a knife? I'm gonna call him Ernest. These are guesses. Is it? Are, they, are these elimination guesses? What's the kid's name? Darcy's the cat. Cheyenne, Constance. Do I have a Constance? Kai, Jane, Issa. Issa Steenson. Sorry, my son. Aha! That's it. Got you. You're Issa. Uh, maybe you're Ernest. Not sure. Why would the baby have a knife? Sunny Sawyer. Who are really? Kenneth we used. Darcy is the cat's name. It's got to be the cat's name. All right, do we have any clues? But who was Stan? I mean, nobody else is dead. That's Kenneth, I bet. So Bo told me. So Bo told me what you did on Saturday. So Bo's one of the, this is Bo. Spencer Wright. Maybe Spencer Wright and Bo Steenson. What is the boy's name? His name is not Honey. So these two might be switched. It's not Ernest. All right. We have a Spencer missing. So maybe it is. Like, maybe they are together. And Patience is the boy's name? All right, let's try that. Patience, Spinthrop. And Ernest. Winthrop. All right, my impression was correct the first time. So who's Spencer? All right, photos. This was taken by Kenneth. Hey, does he me? Kenneth was all on Saturday. Uh, this is before Saturday, so let's say Friday. 
Tuesday then. Okay, we got that, we got that. Residence. Okay, so up here, she lives there. He lives there with Bo, Kai, Isa and his son, mom and daughter. We got her there, he lives there, she lives up there with the boy, and Kenneth lives down here. Okay, figured that out. Okay, on Saturday at a picnic. Uh, Kenneth Ozola threatened to kill Sawyer, Sonny Sawyer. However, on Monday, all right, something happened on Monday. It's either it's it's either Kenneth or or Ernest did it, so it's one of the two. I guess which. What happened on Monday? Friday. Uh, the hunt continues. I enrolled in the research. How we financially oddly it didn't take. Any drugs? They just sat me in front of a crystal contraption. It's strange experience. Uh, is that it? Uh, all right. So it's a Cheyenne bird, not Cheyenne. Lavona Combs. Uh, received. It's not there. Look, the memories after attending a research study. Oh, no, it took the photo. attended well Sonny has one I think Jane has one all right also attended and okay it's getting unclear. Okay, I think, okay. Sonny Spencer, Sonny Sawyer. Forgot the threat after attending a research study. However, Lavona Combs Wait. 
maybe it wasn't Kenneth, it was the Ernest. Let's change this. So maybe Ernest uh, Winthrop. And also attended and received the former's memories. On Tuesday morning, Sonny Sawyer took a photo of Cheyenne Bird, which provoked Ernest Winthrop into shooting Sonny Sawyer for the good of the Okay, maybe it is Kenneth. Name is not Kenneth, right? His name is Kenneth Ozola. All right. So why does Ernest have blood on his shirt? Uh, it's not blood. It's just food. All right. Okay, it's food. Okay. You have solved the scenario. Sonny Sawyer, the petty landlord of Hesper Towers, enjoyed making life difficult for his residents. At a picnic, Kenneth Azola threatened him with violence, and Sonny submitted. However, Opig's research study removed the memory of Kenneth's threat from Sonny's mind. No longer scared, Sonny took an evasive photo of Cheyenne Bird. Kenneth's romantic interest, which was the last straw. Lavona received Sonny's me Sonny Sawyer's memories, but was too late to save him from Kenneth's vengeance. Let's go back for a second. All right, spaghetti sauce. All right, I guess it. Spaghetti sauce. All right, now we're gonna have to figure this out. Now that testing is over, we've got to the important part, giving the device a name. I say we call it something incredible so that the upper management knows we're poised to change the world. Please don't oversell it, Eugene. At its core, it's an information dispatching optical lens. Idle. It is then. <laughs> uh, this is Jane. Forty-three. Thirty-seven. This is Declan. And this is Sunny, because I died. Oh, maybe this is Sunny. Hair, none. Let's check this out. Oh, he has gray hair. Okay. Okay, very clearly, Declan is subject 37. Our friends of Kazane is Jane. She is 42. Uh, no show for useless. I don't know what any of this means. Oh man. Contains useless information.
So this is give and this is take, right? Let's go back. The machine. This is give heat. Okay. Give, take. This must be memories then. Alright, we have the thing about the... These symbols mean... Or one minute. Are they in order? We have two half donuts. Oh, how much time? So I think this is three days. But this must be the three days one. Um, it could be. Ah, uh, she found. Oh, mom went too. I suppose. The mom was five eleven. Hair none, male. We need a female 511. No, I gotta go back. Five six. Mom is five six. How we came in together. So, 41, 42. Subject 41. Um, so who got a month? Big Mom will be back any second. That's incredible. How'd you find her stash? You got dumped and then forgot where you hid the booze yesterday. What a bummer week. Okay. Go back. Uh, one day is this one. So this must be one month. Oh, I got the symbols right. Uh, let's fill in more subjects. I got the three days. Uh, gray hair. Subject 39. It came on the same day. Female, black, 40. Declan. He forgot. So he's one of the givers. Not the bird. He's a trial member. You gotta dance somehow. Female, brown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine. One, two, three, we got eight here. 
So I don't think it's her. Age 77, hair nun. Everybody has hair. So we got two nuns that we're missing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight slots. Oh. Does anybody else have a, a trial? I'm at 12.30 p.m. August 30th. Doesn't say. You have too many females. One, two, three, four, but we have one, two, three. One, two, three. Was she on it too? Like, I don't think the bird was part of it. All that work wasted. Does anybody else have a wristband? Alright, did Mamuti go for some reason? She doesn't seem to have a wristband, so it's not Mamuti. Oh, I thought it was 39. Age 39. So number 35. So it implies that he received a spiel dance. One day, one day. They didn't do a bird, did they? There's no Lemurians here, seemingly. Oh, somebody got it from... Useless. It's not useless, it's a spiel dance. Okay. He learned to spiel dance from this. A data disk. Alright. They put Declan's memories. Who is subject 37. Into a data disk. Screw me, man. I got the time wrong here. I bet you these are wrong. So, let's look at the time symbols. One day. So let's switch these. There we go. You want to fight? Alright then, Debbie. Give me your best shot. Is that all you got? Pathetic. Well, look who it is. You got a problem, Hunter. Hunter Wolf's back. The Pinnacle.